In our top story tonight, the football field is a place where history is often made, and that is just what happened on Saturday night in Wichita Falls, Texas. But as Six News reporter Matt Lively shares with us, it wasn't the players making history this time. It was those wearing black and white. I call them the zebras, Matt. Tell us more about <laughs> yeah, this. Exactly. Chris, Leslie, the last thing a sports official wants is for the spotlight to be on them. But this past Saturday, it was hard to ignore when Little River Academy's Jennifer Calhoun and four others became the first all-female crew to officiate a varsity high school football game in the state of Texas. Help to get playoff games, things like that. But this kind of arc, whew, this is something I can tell my grandkids about. Calhoun got the opportunity to officiate the 6v6 All-Star game on July 17th. It's an assignment she was not expecting. I was kind of shocked. Um, you know, I'm going into my third season, which is pretty amazing, but a lot of people wait 10 to 15 years before they get this kind of opportunity. But she and the other four were deserving, according to Michael Fitch, who is the executive director of the Texas Association of Sports Officials. These ladies were just, uh, they earned it. They, they made their way here. Just like one of them was the first lady to ever work a five, or excuse me, a Texas state championship game in January. That official was Crystal Cooksey, someone who Calhoun looked up to before the game. Now the Waco football ref has a similar status. So many young women are inspired. I've had uh, female football players message me and go, hey, I wish we got to see you on the field. In total, the crew had more than 200 games of experience between all of them, but this single one won't be forgotten. That's something that I know I'll probably never get to experience. And I really, really, really hope I can, but I never thought I'd get to see it in my lifetime. But to see it and know I at least got this one moment. Now, Fitch told us that he hopes this can happen again in the future, but it's tough with the lack of women officials in the state. If you're interested, you can visit our website, KCNTV.com, for more information. I love it. All right, thanks, Matt.